Hello, this is a video to have a look at week two's debug challenge. So this week's debug challenge is about loops and nested loops. So a bit more complicated than we saw last week. And this challenge is all about sorting a list. So we saw last week that Python includes some really nice functions and methods to help you sort Python lists. And that can be done usually in about one line of code. So what we know is that underneath that is some classic computer science methods for sorting lists. And one of those methods is insertion sort. So here we've got a Python implementation of insertion sort. So we've got a function called insertion sort, that seems sensible, and it takes a keyword parameter to sort. If we have a quick look at the doc string, what it tells us is that this function sorts a list of numbers from the using the insertion sort algorithm and it returns a list of sorted numbers. And the keyword arguments are to sort, and that is an unsorted Python list of numbers. That could also be a sorted list of Python numbers but you would get the same out of it as you would put in. So let's have a look down at what how we're running this function. Well, we've, we've got an arbitrary list here, um, which we've called list to sort. And then line 58 is calling the insertion sort function. It's passing in that list to sort, and the insertion sort function is returning um, a sorted list, which we're storing, which we're assigning to the variable sorted list, and then we're printing that out to the user. So let's have a quick look to see if spider's picked anything up for us. And it looks like it has. So there's a red cro cross there, which is a problem. Uh, so our code analysis tells us that that's invalid syntax on that line. But on the face of it, I'm not quite sure what that invalid syntax might be. So I'm going to run the code and see what happens. OK, so we get a syntax error, invalid syntax. And what we can see is that it is this while loop line and this this little symbol here is pointing to the end of it suggesting there's some problem at the end so let's click on that to take us to line 45 and there's some problem here at the end of that line okay so what we know is that for any loop we need to include a semicolon at the end of it so you can see in the outer loop that we've done that correctly and we've included a semicolon after the for loop. But in our nested loop, our while loop, we haven't done that. So the easy way to fix that is to include that semicolon. OK. So spider seems to be happy that that's gone, but it's picked up another problem. So we've got a, an exclamation mark here in an orange triangle. And it's saying you expected an indented block. OK, so we've, we've, I think we've bumped up against Python's white space rules here. So we know at every time there's a, a semicolon, um, we need to indent the lines below it. And it looks to me like these lines have not been indented. So let's run our code and see what exceptions we get. So we've had an indentation error. So expected an indented block, and that was on line 48. OK, so we can see here, this is where the first line should be indented and it's, it's not. So if we've hit that problem, so I'm going, to in, I'm going to select all that code in indent. I'll indent the comment as well. Great, so that error has disappeared. So maybe that's everything. OK, Spider's not telling us there's any more problems. So hopefully this will run. Ah, so we've still got more problems. So now we've got a type error. A list object cannot be interpreted as an integer. And that's on line 37. And the problem is with this for statement. Let's go to the line of code. So on the face of it, that looks OK. Spider's not complaining, but there must be some sort of logical error we've got with this code for the Python interpreter to be complaining as it has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play about with this in the console to see if I can figure out what the problem is. 
So I'm going to create um, an arbitrary list. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and create a range object um, using the same syntax as we've got here. So let's just copy that. So first thing I'm going to do is try and replicate that error. OK, so that's worked. So a type error, list object cannot be interpreted as an integer. So I've been able to replicate that error. That's good. So it identifies that it's this particular um, part of that code which is the problem. So I can see what the problem is. So what does the range function expect? Gosh, lots of information. But basic usage is um, range, the starting number and the stop number. Uh, so remember, it re basically it returns a sequence of numbers starting at a value you've specified and ending at a value you've specified. But if we look at what we actually called, we said starting at number one, well, basically produce a sequence of numbers starting at number one through to to sort. So that logically actually doesn't make any sense. What we really meant to say was let's run um, from number one through to the length of to sort. And there we go. So that's quite a common mistake. So we need to remember that the range function really is quite dumb and it works with simply with numeric values. So if you're trying to iterate over a list and you're, you're doing it in the way with a range function like this, you need to remember it's the length of the list that you're interested in, not the list itself. So if we go here and type in len, hopefully this will now run. And it does. So is the list sorted? 10, 14, 19, 27, 33, 35, 42, 44. So yes, the list is sorted. That is our expected answer. So our insertion sort code appears to work. Now in practice, what you would do is you would run a series of tests on insertion sort with different lists of different lengths um, with different orderings to try and make sure that insert your implementation of insertion sort works correctly. But for now, we're just interested in getting our code running and it appears we've done so. So there were three problems with this code. The first was that your while loop didn't include um, a semicolon. The second was that the while loop code was not indented, so we hit white space rule. And then the third was a logical problem with how we had used the range function. So instead of using a numeric value, which was the length of two sorts, we'd actually passed in the list itself, which was not what the range function was expecting.